Welcome back to Brick Science. Today we're gonna make a Lego trebuchet. Let's do it. How's it going guys? Welcome back to Brick Science. My name is Riley and today we're going to be making a trebuchet, as you would say in an accent. A trebuchet is basically a giant catapult that was used in medieval times between the years one and wherever we are now. And this is gonna be on a 48 by 48 base plate like so. So we're gonna have four legs that come up like this and make two triangles and then a swinging arm with a weight on one end. So when you lift the weight and the arm goes down, the weight drops and this arm swings up and the projectile is launched, hopefully super far. We're gonna make it a little bit adjustable in some areas like the weight and the arm length. So that way we have some control over not rebuilding the entire thing because that'll take forever. So the first thing we want to do is build up the legs and make sure they're sturdy enough Then we'll add a pin through the center and then we'll work on the arm last and test it and hopefully it'll work. Let's do it. All right, so the first thing we gotta do is work on some legs and we're probably gonna make it this wide. Uh, this is just too wide. We don't want an axle going all the way across that. We want it to be a little thinner. That way we don't have to put a lot of support pieces on the axle. So let's build up those leg joints real quick. All right, so now we have four connections here and what we wanna do is grab a bunch of these Technic pieces and we're gonna link them on end, for example, like so. We're just gonna make two struts that come up like this and meet at the top. Those will connect, so actually what we're gonna do is we're gonna move this, one, two. There we go, so now there's two studs in between so that way we can have two that go up like so. That should work, okay. All right, so I'm putting in the final axle here just so we can see what it's gonna look like and how it's gonna work. And there you can see we have the base laid down. It's not too loose, it's just mostly because the base plate moves a little bit, but that shouldn't be too much of a problem with some weights and maybe just laying some flat pieces across. Um, but for now, we have something for the sling, or not the sling, the, uh, the shaft to rotate on. Now we can see how the catapult is gonna work. So basically, let's just say we build a little weight out of a couple of these. I mean, it's not gonna be that much weight, but it'll, it'll still be a weight. And then we have this end here. You can see that if we have something on this end, like a, literally anything that'll fit here. That's how our catapult's gonna work, ladies and gentlemen. That's exactly how I wrote it on my hand. And so, Hopefully that should do good. Now what we gotta do is we gotta build the shaft portion, which is going to be too wide, and then just add some more stabilizer down here. Squeeze these together maybe, and we should be good to go to test and to adjust uh, as need be. So let's keep working. And we need this side to be adjustable, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna have two arms we can move backwards and forwards just to make sure that we can adjust it as much as we need to. Next thing we gotta do is build the weight and lock down these arms a little more. So let's do that. And everything I've learned about this thus far comes from minutes upon minutes of extensive internet research. And wow, just look at how perfectly I accidentally measured this. Like, look at that down there. You can see it just barely. Wow, did you see that? Okay, so clearly this thing needs some more power and needs to be a little bit bigger, but here's the basic concept. Off of this, I'm going to take some hours and build up, make it bigger, because uh, clearly it needs to be bigger and um, shoot farther. So increasing the weight will help on that, but um, also getting this, oh, you know what it might be, is it might be this side's too long compared to that side. I gotta look up some measurements, but I'll come back when I have that all done.
All right, guys, a little progress update. It's been about 15 hours or so. Uh, I slept because it's overnight, clearly. So basically, this is how it works. We got, we got our little net here, and the ball goes in that as soon as we put this loop over this release mechanism. And so the way this works is if you pull this like this, which is what gravity's gonna do, it goes up like that. As soon as it gets to about here, this thing releases, so it shoots really far, and it releases at the top and releases the ball. Just said releases like nine times, but it doesn't matter. All you have to do is basically take this down here and three, two, one. Clearly you can see it needs some work, but just to give you guys the basic idea. And there you go, see it releases about here. And I've made this a lot heavier. I put a lot of coins in here. To sum this up in three principles, make sure that this is heavy, this is long, and this is far away from this. Real science right there, guys. All we gotta do now is figure out how to make it look better and also how to, you know, just make it look cool. Also, this weight mechanism is basically not a mechanism at all. It is a box filled with chains and coins, uh, nuts and bolts, basically anything heavy I could find, I put in here. So I'll weigh that and put the measurement up on the screen there, but uh, it's heavy. So one of the things I do a lot with Technic pieces to make them look better is I grab some of these little little Technic pins with the stud on top and I pop those into the holes like so. And then you can add anything you want on top really, any kind of brick or plate or whatever just to make it look good. So like for there, you can kind of experiment with like where to put them, probably like somewhere like that. Just kind of something to cover up the ugly holes from the snot pieces but and look at how much better that looks already just adding tiles and bricks and just kind of experimenting you know seeing what we come up with you can see already we have this nice line here it just looks smooth already and it's only been like 10 minutes 10 minutes of building and that's what we got out of it so i like it i think it looks good we are in the home stretch and all we have to do is just clean up a few things and figure out the tiling right here. And then we should be good to start launching some stuff as soon as we do that. All right, guys, I'm out here in the backyard. We got our contraption. We got Emmett. Hey, hey, pay attention. <laughs> we got Emmett. We're gonna actually be shooting some small bits of carrot because I can find anything else that the dog could eat. Aren't you just so excited? All right, here we go. So all you have to do is to load this, you just launch it. And I know he's gonna, he's gonna run after this. So I don't even have to tell him to. All right, so we got it all loaded up. As you can see, this will release and drag it across that middle section there. Emmett's really excited. And then all we have to do is pull this pin. So I'm gonna do that. And ready? Ready? Three, two, go get it. That one. <laughs> He's so dumb. Let me get a better shot of that launching. Just like that, and that was pretty cool. And wow, that went pretty far. Actually, I'm gonna be honest, I didn't see where it went. Oh, you got it? Okay, well, apparently it only, it only went this far. But that's still, so from there to there, that's still pretty far. And you can really use any ammunition as long as it's light. So like, I used some Nerf rival balls and that seemed to work pretty well. You can also use the little Lego balls, but for now you just got a piece of carrot. But it's made using a Lego net and we built the slide down there. So let's head back to the studio and let's head back to the studio and end the video. Wow, that almost hit that light. That would have been extremely bad. All right, guys, well, thank you so much for watching. I hope this video inspired you to build your own Lego catapult. If it has, leave a like and comment down below. 
what you liked about this video the most. Maybe it was the dog, maybe it was when it almost hit me in the eye that one time, and maybe build your own Lego catapult. It's really not that hard. Remember, three things. Make sure this is heavy, this is long, and these two are spaced farther apart. That's really all you need to, literally, if you do that at any scale, I think it'll work. Um, I may be way wrong though. But thank you guys so much for watching. Hit the like button, comment, subscribe. I'll talk to you in the next Brick Science. See you later.